Welcome to this freediving asana routine video for you to follow along to. It's a 30 minute routine in the Hatha Vinyasa Krama style of yoga postural practice. While doing the practice, you should use Ujjayi breathing. There's a link to a tutorial video I did on Ujjayi in the description of this video if you don't know how to do that. If you're familiar with Mula and Uddiyana Bandha, the muscular and energetic locks of yoga posture practice, then use those two. You should hold each posture for between three to six breaths, roughly 30 to 40 seconds. It will depend on you personally and on the posture. Some of the postures may be a little bit too challenging for you at the moment. If you look to the top left of the screen, I provide some easier variations of the postures for you to try. Since this is specifically for freedivers, we can also incorporate some short breath holds into certain postures at the peak of the inhalation. Uh, we should hold these breath holds for five to 10 seconds only. It's not appropriate or suitable in every posture. You should go by feel, go by what feels right. Some days you may want to do this. Some days you may not want to do this. Just the inhalations and exhalations by themselves with Ujjayi breathing will give a very good opening to the chest and to the lungs. We're going to start with grounded salutations, although if you can do regular sun salutations, you might prefer to do that. Maybe it will change from day to day. Sitting at the back of your mat, make contact with Ujjayi breathing. As you exhale, exhale all the way down to the bottom. Feel the contraction around the pelvic floor, that is Mula Bandha. As you inhale, gently draw back the navel for Uddiyana Bandha. Bring sound to the breath. Inhaling, raise the arms overhead, interlock the fingers and spread the palms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, head down to the mat. Inhale up onto the knees, tuck the toes. Exhale, push back into Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Since it's the first one, you can walk out the calves a little bit, especially if it's first thing in the morning. You want to open up the backs of the legs. Breathe with sound. Inhale, come down onto hands and knees, arch the back and look up. Exhale, back into child's pose. Inhale, come up onto the knees, spread the feet a little bit, hands behind the hips. Exhale, bend back, just a little bit for the first one. Keep the chin down, inhale up and exhale back down onto your feet. Inhale, raise the arms. Interlace fingers and stretch. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hands and knees, tuck toes. Exhale, push back into Atho Mukha. Breathe with sound. Expand the whole of the chest fully with each inhalation. Feel contraction around the pelvic floor at the end of each exhalation. Hold the contraction gently. Loosen up the neck. Keep the ears between the arms. Inhale, hands and knees, arch back, look up. Exhale, head down, child's pose. Inhale up onto the knees, hands behind the hips, exhale a little bit further back this time. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale forward. 
Inhale, hands and knees, tuck toes. Exhale, push back into downward facing dog. And breathe. The asana practice is primarily a breathing practice. Lead first with the breath and the body should follow, not the other way around. knees arch back look up exhale head down inhale up onto the knees hands behind the hips Maybe we can start to drop the head back a little bit now with the back bend if it feels comfortable if it doesn't then don't do it inhale up exhale down now we move on to the second variation inhale raise the arms stretch side chest exhale forward head down inhale hands and knees exhale down dog inhaling step the right foot forward drop the left knee down raise the arms overhead look thumbs exhale hands down inhale step back up onto the tiptoes and then exhale into down dog inhale left foot forward right knee down Raise the arms, look thumbs, exhale, hands down, inhale up on tiptoes, rock the shoulders over the hands, exhale, down dog, inhale, hands and knees, arch the back, look up, exhale, head down, inhale up onto the knees, hands behind the hips, exhale, back, a little bit further this time. A little bit deeper inhale up exhale down and one more of these inhale raise the arms inhaling fully exhale forward inhale hands and knees tuck toes exhale Adho Mukha Svanasana inhale right foot forward look thumbs exhale inhale step up on tiptoes exhale down dog inhale left foot forward raise arms look thumbs exhale hands down inhale tiptoes exhale down dog inhale hands and knees arch back look up teeth together Exhale, head down. Inhale up. Exhale. Another back bend. Feel the stretch on the front of the neck. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now we start with the standing postures. Inhale, raise the arms overhead. Exhale, forward. Head down. Inhale, hands and knees, tuck toes. Exhale, down dog. Take a few breaths here. Bring sound to the breath. By this point, you should be nice and warm. Perhaps even sweating a little bit. Inhale, walk, step or jump forward to the front of your mat. Lift the chest halfway. Straighten the legs. Exhale, forward. Inhale, swinging up from the hips all the way up. Raise the arms, look thumbs, and then exhale. Trikonasana. Inhale, turn to the left. Medium stance, outsides of the feet parallel. Turn the right foot to the front. Exhale, way over the right leg. Bring your hand to the foot. Maybe a little bit further up if it's easier. Maybe even on the knee if that's what you need to do look to the left hand left shoulder stacked over the right shoulder the left toes are turned in slightly keep the hips opening keep the chest opening to the sky mm. 
inhale back up to center feet parallel and then turn the left exhaling reaching way out over the left foot look to the thumb of the right hand breathe feel the beautiful opening through the chest the side chest if you want to go a little bit deeper you can also bring the left hand down onto the mat beside the foot or even take the big toe with the fingers we inhale come back up to center turn the right foot to the front of the mat left foot turns in 45 degrees bring the left hand down onto the knee the shin eventually all the way down onto the mat beside the foot look to the right hand Parivrita Trikonasana. This time both hips are moving towards the front of the mat. Exhale, look down, inhale, come up to center. Exhale, rotate to the left, bring the right hand down beside the left foot or put it on the shin put it on the knee whatever is most accessible for you at this point and breathe you should feel a very very nice release and opening through the bottom and the back of the ribs in this posture Exhale, you look down, inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, rotate and turn to the front of the mat. Inhale, step out to the left again, this time very long stance. Exhale, turn the right foot to the front of the mat. You can start by resting the hand on the knee, on the thigh, eventually bringing the right hand down onto the floor beside the foot. The left hand is coming over the head. Try to make a nice long line between the back left foot and the left hand. Look to the hand if it's comfortable. Breathe. Feel the beautiful stretch through the side of the chest. Open up the hips to the left. Inhale center and then exhale. Left knee over left foot. Here's an alternative version you can bring the right hand behind the back and bind the hand with the left thigh the left hand is down by the left foot look to the sky this is parshva konasana Now we're going to exhale, release, and then inhale, come back up to center. Turn the right foot to the front of the mat. Turn the left toes, come up onto the toes, tiptoes. Bend the right knee over the right ankle. Draw the left shoulder into the right knee. Press down on the hands in a prayer position. Push down on the left hand with the right hand. Look beyond the right elbow keep the back leg straight this is Parivrita Parshva Konasana breathe you should be breathing if you can't breathe reasonably freely in the posture you need to back out back out a little bit make it a little bit easier focus on the breath first exhale look down inhale come to center exhale the left foot goes to the back of the mat up on the right tiptoes bend the left knee over the left ankle right shoulder against the outside of the right knee hands in prayer or anjali mudra look beyond the left shoulder left elbow breathe with sound ujjayi if possible
Inhale, coming up. Exhale, return to the front of your mat. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, raise the chest halfway. Bend the knees if you have to. Keep the back straight. Exhale, step back into down dog. And then inhaling, walk, step or jump into a sitting position at the front of the mat. Stretch out the legs. Straight legs, point the toes to the sky, roll the shoulders back and down. Now we're gonna do some Paschimottanasana variations. Easiest one is to start with the hands over the tops of the feet. Keep the chest lifted, keep the lower back straight. It's okay if the mid back rounds a little bit, but the uh, lower back should stay straight. The belly should be pressing against the top of the thighs. Inhale, moving the chest forward taking the outsides of the feet for the second variation and then exhaling you can drop the head down to the knees let the back round up on the left you see some easier variations if your hamstring is still quite short you need to start with the knees bent keep the belly pressed into the thighs inhale up legs overhead exhale open the thighs inhale Exhale, feet down to the ground. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, sit on the hands and then inhale, swing up into the next posture. Draw the right foot into the groin. Start by pushing the left elbow into the left knee. Hand behind the head for Parivrita Janusharsasana. Eventually you can take the inside of the left foot Eventually you can take the foot with both hands and one day you can even just rest your head on your hands which feels really good and at this point you're getting a beautiful beautiful stretch through the side chest on the right. Inhale up, swinging the legs up, exhale open the hips, inhale, exhale feet down, inhale lift hips. Exhale, sit on the hands. Inhale, swing the legs up. This time we draw the left foot into the groin. We'll go through our variations here. First with the right elbow against the knee, then taking the inside of the foot, then taking the foot with both hands. Eventually resting the head on the hand. And breathe, make sound. We're going to exhale to release the posture, bringing the legs back to the front of the mat. Inhale, swinging the legs up. Exhale, open the knees. Inhale. Exhale, feet down. Inhale, hips up. Exhale, sit on the hands. Inhale, swinging up. This time we're going to draw the left foot back and draw the right foot onto the left thigh. Exhale, rotating to the right. Eventually we will take the right foot with the right hand. Take the right knee with the left hand. Rotate and look over your right shoulder. Bharat Vajasana. Up on the left you can see Ardha Matsyandrasana. A little bit easier variation there. And then a very easy variation, basic rotation. Breathe with sound. Exhale, release the posture. Inhale, swing the legs up. Exhale, take the knees open. Inhale, exhale, feet down. Inhale, hips up. Exhale, sit on the hands. Inhale, swing up. Now for Baharad Vajasana on the left hand side. Very careful of your knees in this posture, of course. Use the easier variations if you need to. Slightly deeper version of this posture is to take the hand 
and place the knee on top of the hand. Now we can get a very, very deep rotation and opening of the side chest. As I mentioned at the top of the video, sometimes you might feel that it's nice to hold the breath for five to 10 seconds during these postures. Exhale, release, inhale, swing the legs up. Exhale, push back into down dog. Inhale, drop down onto the knees. We're gonna do Gomukhasana, raising the right hand up. Bring the left hand up behind the back. You're gonna join the hands together. Now, if this is not accessible for you right now, you can see an easier variation where we use a towel to close that gap between the hands. And breathe deeply, inhale with sound, open up the front chest, open up the pec muscle. Exhale, release the posture. Inhale, raise the arms overhead. This time the left hand stays on top, the right hand goes down and up. Clasp the fingers behind the back. Keep pulling back and opening both shoulders. Keep the chin down in a neutral position. Breathe with sound. Exhale to release the posture. Bring the head down to the mat. Inhale, knees, tuck toes, and then exhale into down dog. Inhale, draw the right knee up to the right wrist. Lower both hips to the ground. Start with a little back bend here, and then exhale into Ardha Ekapada Raja Kapotasana. Might be the full version of this, uh, the name for this posture. Clasp the fingers behind the head, let the hands push down into the head. Continue to breathe deeply with ujjayi sound. Feel the belly pushing into the foot and the ankle here. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, bring that left hand onto the right knee. Rotate to the right. Bring the right hand behind the back, eventually to bind with the right foot. Look over the right shoulder, breathe deeply. See much easier rotational variation up on the left hand side here. Something to do if this main posture is not accessible to you yet. Exhale, release the posture. And then inhale and exhale into down dog. Inhale, bring the left knee to the left wrist this time, dropping down the hips. Start with a little back bend. Open the chest, keeping the chest open, fold over the leg. Lie down on the leg, hands behind the head. And breathe.
Exhale, release. Place the right hand on the left knee. Do the rotational version of the posture on the left side, looking over the left shoulder. Breathing deeply up into the chest, rotating the spine. Now we're going to move into the back bending part of the routine. Exhale, release. Inhale, step up onto your tiptoes. And then exhale into down dog. And then inhale, rocking the shoulders over the hands and dropping down onto your belly. So this will be the easiest of the back bend variations. If this is all you can do, then that's fine. Bhujangasana. Inhale, lift the chest, keep the shoulders back and down, scapulas down, drop the chin. Now we do three back bends, so if this is the one that's most accessible to you, you can do this three times. Moving from side to side, rocking a little bit and twisting a little bit sometimes brings a nice sensation of opening into the chest in this posture. Exhale, head down. You'd rest here for a little while. Inhale, up onto the feet. Now we take the second of the back bends, Ustrasana. Up onto the knees, separate the feet hip width. Inhale, swing that arm back and then exhale down. Place the fingertips or the hand on the heel. Keep the hips moving forward. Let the head drop back. Keep the teeth together. Feel the beautiful stretch through the neck. Super important for free divers. Ustrasana. So if this is accessible to you, you could do this twice or three times or some combination of the back bends. Inhale, come up and release the posture. Exhale, sit down. Exhale into down dog. And then inhale, walk, step or jump into a lying position. Sitting and then lying. We're going to do Urdhva Dhanurasana. This is the most advanced backbend posture in this routine. Bring the heels up to the hips. Hands under the shoulders. Push up into Urdhva Dhanurasana. This is not a posture for beginners. If you can comfortably do this posture, then you would do this three times, or like I said, some combination of the back bends. Try to do three, three rounds of back bends each time you do this practice. Each day would be perfect. Don't forget to breathe. If you're not breathing in this posture, it's too difficult. You need to back out and do something easier. Exhale, release. Sit on the hands, swing the legs up, swing up into a sitting position, and then we'll take a little bit of Paschimottanasana just to counteract the back bends that we did. Stay here for as long as you feel comfortable. Really letting the back round, dropping the head down to the knees. going to finish up with a couple of inverted postures. Starting with Sarvangasana, shoulder stand. When you feel ready, you will exhale and roll back down onto the mat. Swing the legs up, hips over the shoulders, Draw the shoulder blades together, bring the hands on to the back, keep the hands moving up the back towards the shoulders, point the toes to the sky, 
and breathe. This posture becomes easier when it becomes straighter with the hips right over the shoulders. In the beginning you might find it hard to get the hips over the shoulders, it will be a little bit more challenging. Gradually work your hands further up your back, make your body straighter and breathe. Again, if you're not breathing, you gotta back out. Now you're going to exhale, drop the feet down behind the head, clasp the fingers, draw the shoulder blades even more close together. In the beginning, you might want to tuck your toes. That will be easier. Even easier is to keep the legs a little bit bent. Eventually, you can straighten the legs and place the tops of the feet onto the ground. There's Halasana. Beautifully therapeutic posture. One of the most important in Hatha Yoga. These inverted postures, Sarvangasana and Halasana, it's a good idea to spend even longer in them if you can. 12 long breaths is nice. Even up to five or 10 minutes if you have the time. Exhaling, roll back down onto the mat, swing up, and then drop the head back down onto the floor. Now this is Matsyasana, extremely potent posture for stretching out the neck. Keep your teeth together, even move your jaw slightly from side to side. Feel how incredibly, incredibly active your neck now becomes, how easy it is to stretch your neck. I believe this is one of the most important postures we can do for prevention of throat injuries. Eventually we're going to inhale, swing the legs up, and then take another little dose of Paschimottanasana. And at this point we would move into our sitting, f uh, you know, full lotus or some variation and start our pranayama routine, if that's in your practice. Or you could just lie back down onto your back and take Shavasana, relaxation, and finish your practice. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you want to find out more about what I do, you can go to freediveandthrive.com. Everything is there. And also consider becoming a Patreon supporter for lots of exclusive content and benefits as a supporter of the Freedive Cafe and the Freediving Journal podcasts.